so we've got our next group of tradesmen up, and we've got Art Munsell, and we've got uh, his friend and co-worker, right, Jeff? Yep, Jeff Bartell. Jeff Bartell. Yes. And uh, these guys, they, they are not cement guys. Art was quick to correct me. They're concrete guys, and they're proud of it, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, in fact, Art put together a, a, a handful of tips that we're going to share with you as a consumer that he thought was pretty germane to uh, hiring a, uh, a concrete contractor, concrete man, concrete sure. men. Um, so a good friend or family member out of town is hiring a concrete person to have a driveway port. What is something that, you'd be, that you would be sure to tell them, hey, make sure you do X, Y, or Z? Well, make sure, number one, you go and check the guy's work. But unlike some of the other uh, trades that we've talked to earlier, it's really not important to see what he poured last week or last month because concrete generally doesn't go bad for a couple of years. So if you go, if you ask him to see his work, you're going to go look at a job. Naturally, he's going to tell you a good job that he did, so it's going to look good. And then uh, the next thing he could do is probably call the concrete company. Ask him who his supplier is. If it's X or Z or whoever it is, give them a call. They'll know because he pours from them every day. They'll know if he's uh, got some bad feedback and stuff like that. And uh, you know, that's just a good place to check. Okay, and then um, would the building department be a good place to check too? That was something another... Uh, Not necessarily, because a lot of the concrete business doesn't require a building permit. If you're building a garage, uh, you need a building permit for the foundation and the floor before it's poured, but they very seldom come and check it after it's poured. I don't even think they ever do. Same with the basement floor and stuff like that. And driveways require no permit at all unless you're in some of the major cities that require a permit. Otherwise, the building department's not much involved. Well, that was a good point that he brought up. Remember, this is, uh, as we share this with you, we're Michigan-based, so um, a lot of this stuff probably holds true for your township, your community, your area but not necessarily, so be sure to check with them directly, right? Cause, That's I mean, correct, yes. So you're saying, like, for example, in Michigan, we don't need, a, need to pull a permit for a... Uh, for a driveway for or a driveway. sidewalk, things like that, yeah. Okay. Um, what's the most common reason behind poor workmanship? Do you think it's a jack-of-all-trades, cheap materials, lack of good training? It's probably uh, lack of good training, and that not, in our industry, too, youth is uh, always good. You know, youth. Yeah. Concrete is a tough commodity to handle, and, uh, you know, the old-timers, they sell the jobs, they do the stuff, but the youth does the work. So uh, sometimes they tend to maybe not know exactly what they should be doing in the minute they should, but one of the things on the outside concrete is they'll overwork it too much. Overwork it. What does that mean? Uh, they'll trowel it too much or stuff like that, and again, that's probably more in the north country because of the freeze-thaw cycles. And what we do is uh, the concrete is air entrained and it has about 5% air in it. And the more you work it, the more of that air you lose. The air is important for your freeze thaw cycles. Oh, so it's good to have the air in it. Yes, it it's is. It's good to have some air in it. Right. Okay. Right, is so the concrete you use in a driveway different than a sidewalk? No, same concrete. The, one of the things, uh, all outside work in the North Country, and I'm guessing probably in the South Country, has about five, three to five percent air entrainment in it, and uh, the mix isn't real critical. You can go from anywhere from three thousand pound, which in the old days was five bag mix, to four thousand pound, which is was six bag mix. That's not really very critical. The, a car, you know, you're going to get a car doesn't weigh anything compared to twenty five hundred to three thousand pounds per square inch. The main thing that you get a little better mix for is It'll dr cure quicker. Uh, you can get your work done and get out of there. But far as the look or anything like that, the extra cement content in the mix doesn't do all that much good. Uh, you know, so occasionally I've seen driveways where they're all pocked. They've just been poured, and a year later they're all pocked and chipped up. What what is often a cause of that? Overworked. Okay. Yeah. So there's your thing. They've worked the air yep. out of it. Yep. And okay, then and why why would they overwork it though? That's what I'm well, trying to figure out. Well, what they do is a lot of times. The concrete industry is one of those industries that has a lot of people at the drawing board that know a lot, but when it gets out for practical application, it doesn't work. They want to pour it really dry, and the drier the concrete, the better it is.